That ain't happening. I'm over it. Truck stander automatic. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's in there. We'll just, we'll just pull the battery out. I got other drills. It's fine. I'm gonna go take a nap. Hey everybody, welcome to On The Brink. I'm Dylan Brinkman. I'm Kerr Bendley. Today we're gonna start the transmission swap to T56 on the red truck, Dirty Gold. Uh, today's plan is to do the clutch master and the clutch pedal. Mm -hmm. It's only two items. Doesn't sound like much, but I don't think it's gonna be super fun. It's no, it's not. We are lucky. We are lucky in the fact that these trucks, some of them did come factory uh, with a manual, so we have most of the provisions there. We just had to buy the parts. So let's talk about the parts. So gotta get a clutch pedal. Like I said, they they make one for it, so it's really nice. Uh, I got. Both these off Rock Auto. Now this thing, um, this part right here, the uh, clutch pedal assembly bracketry, is known to fail. Uh, there's a guy, uh, Atomic Fab Performance, makes a metal one. I'm just waiting on it to show up, but we'll still show you guys how to put it in place today, and uh, we'll we'll tell you about his parts later when they come in. We probably won't fully put this in today. We'll just show you how we're gonna do it. And then Clutch Master, cylinder here. Uh, I got, like I said, I got this off Rock Auto too. We'll do a price breakdown on this entire swap at the end when it's finally finished. Uh, I bought the more expensive GM one because it came with this line and this line and this quick connect fitting, which will go right onto our hydraulic throwout bearing, provided it's long enough. That's a concern. I, lines, fittings, hoses, nuts, bolts. It's a just real pain to get. Plumbing in general. I just can't stand having to go get all that little stuff constantly. You never know what you need until you get in there and you start doing it. So uh, I think we're gonna take this neutral safety switch off because we don't have one of those. Uh, my only concern is if, do you think it's going to be possible to push the pedal too far without that? Or the pedal, no, that, that rod goes through that. Yeah, that rod right, goes It moves independently. That. See, this is why you got to talk about things. You got to figure it out. So we're going to take that off. Are we going to take it off? We don't know what we're doing yet. I don't know. We can. If this it gets is... in the way where it's coming off. Yeah, well, that's a fact. <laughs> So this is gonna go through the firewall here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Man, can't really see much of nothing. I'm gonna show you from underneath. All this stuff's gotta come out of the way. We're gonna leave the brake master in and hopefully we can do it with it without taking it out. Uh, you gotta take out, this is your, uh, what's it called? Cruise control. Module, I guess, is a little computer. We gotta take that out of the way. I think once we get that out of the way, we might be able to see more of the hole. And then the pedal down here. Look out, right there. Oh, the pedal bolts right up there. See that little silver bracket with two holes in it? So that's gonna be interesting. We have to find a way to get that bolted up because there's not like welded nuts in the back of that bracket at all. So I don't know how we're gonna do that. Well, I think I know how we're gonna do that, but it's gonna be a challenge. But Kurt's ready for it, right? No. So much enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do <laughs> stuff. Uh, we have a couple other issues. You probably won't run into this because you're not hacks like us, I assume. But uh, we got these here. These are just dangling. This one goes right here, but it won't go because of this shiny gold thing here that someone put in. And then there's another one back there. You see that other one? We gotta get that one out of the way because there's no way that pedal is going in there with that panel right there. I don't know what we're gonna do about that Curtis, you got ideas 
Nope. So much enthusiasm. God. All right. Now we're going to do it the right way. After like five times of failure. Take 47. to somehow get a drill up in here with a drill bit on it which we might be able to do actually yeah we might get lucky there we might get lucky now if I can just find the drill the, 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 the hole saws all right still got a package Hopefully it's the, the clutch bracket. Clutch pedal assembly bracket. Hey! It literally just got delivered. <laughs> there it is. What do you guys think? The, uh, so we'll take the clutch pedal assembly bracket off the pedal of that plastic junk one. And we're going to put this guy in its place. And then right here is your two mounting holes. Just like the other one had. Here's where your clutch match will come through. Comes with this bolt and the appropriate spacers for... Um, your clutch pedal to actually go in. This is good work. These are some good welds. This guy's a little logo cut in there. I like this guy. Atomic Fabrication and Performance out of Alabama. What do we got, three items, four? Three or four items on this truck of his? No. With the seat brackets? Seat brackets, motor mounts, and now this guy. Hey. All right, let's swap pieces. I think, I mean, Kurt, look at this, Kurt discovered See these little tabs? Look like bolts with Allen heads in the center. What do you do? You just push them in? Yeah, just push them in. Do you have, are you going to have to? Yeah. I need two screwdrivers and a guy to pull. I don't think I can push them in far enough. I need two pokey things. Here's need... a pokey thing. Here's a pokey thing. That's a pretty big pokey. That thing's too big. Another pokey thing. That was a little smaller. Probably doesn't take, you know, nine people to do this, but this is the way. Can you get it? Nope, because I'm I'm holding it in now. Yeah, right? you are holding it in now. Okay, we'll pull that side out. <clears throat> Nothing. Nope. Got it. There we go. It only took four hands and two guys, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming most of you are probably smarter than us. You can probably figure it out on your own, but this La Garbage for you French viewers. That's French for the garbage. Oh, that's not, a, is it? That's not a spacer. I see what it is. Okay, put her in there. Right, we need to pop these things out first. With the springs? Yeah, you don't use this. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna work, eh? Get right in there. Well. Yep, I'm moving your hands. Okay, I got the springy medewer out of there. Watch him call it, that, that jobby. My brain just told me, I wonder if it's easier just to put the bracket in without the pedal. But I feel like you're going down a rabbit hole with that because it probably is, but then I bet you it is not fun to put that pedal on when the bracket's in the truck. That did occur to me. I bet it is gonna be easier. Right, but then we have to get this on in but the truck. Yeah, but this thing, when we're putting it in there, this thing's going to be in the way constantly, I think. I did think of that earlier. See, here we are. What to do? I had my mind made up. Kurt's thinking about changing it. You don't think getting this bolt through is going to be an issue with this mounted in place? I mean, it's going to be an issue, yes. But I think this is going to be more of an issue. All right. Kurt says it outweighs it. Outweighs it. So we're taking it back off, I guess. But that's how you do it. 
Uh, just remember this point in time. Uh, we'll come back to it when this turns out to be a complete disaster to get this pedal on. And uh, I yell at Curtis. Blame him for everything. Pretty typical around there. All right, what are we doing now? Uh, we're trying to find the right hole saw. Oh, yeah. We don't have the right hole saw. That's right. What size were we looking for? Oh, crap. One and three quarter. That's too close. I mean, that'll be a little big, but three inch might be the winner. Oh, we don't want it too big. We definitely don't want it too big. What did I want? I don't remember. Yeah, this has to go through this. This job here has got to go through the firewall. Mm -hmm. And then this here, this round end here, this will be flush on the firewall on the engine side. And then it just snaps into place in here, a little twist action. So we gotta get this right here. Can't see nothing. This right here through the firewall with the incorrect. So why don't we go with this one and then use force, right? Force and violence. <laughs> it's usually how it works, right? They make die grinders for a reason. All right, that's the plan. You need a two and three quarter. We're gonna use a two and five eighths and then use violence and force. Still gotta find nuts and bolts. We do. And then I don't know, so there's another, so this is another, I believe this one will bolt up to the top underneath the dash. I don't know if that's gonna happen in our scenario. It might not. It's another reason we got this heavy duty one. All right, go cut a hole. Okay. Can you take this and show them the hole you're trying to get to? Cause I can't see it. <sighs> see, we're going way up in there, right there. See that hole right there? I hope it's still in the light. There you go. See that? See a little firewall you can see there? That's where I want to drill. Whew. What about that impact drill? It's shorter. It's, it rotates. We can't chuck it in. Sad face. Is it in there? Yeah, kind of. Is it though? You need to have a firm grip on that when you pull the trigger. Oh, there we go. Safety third. It's in there? Yeah. Okay, the, so the, the next question is, will it come out? Yeah, it should come out easier than it went in. Will it? I, maybe. Okay, then the- I can at least take the drill bit off and we can take the drill bit off the front then. And then the fourth issue, um, if we do have to die grind it, is that possible? Yeah, it should be from the other side. Ah, yes, the other side. Yep. Okay, good call. Kurt's always thinking ahead. Firm grips. Be safe. For the record, I have no firm grip right now. <laughs> you can only do this once, right? You know that, right? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's not. Spinning in the chuck, isn't it? No, is this thing a hammer drill? I think it has a hammer function. Ah. There. Okay, good. Was that it? I'm gonna go to the other side and look. Because it's Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, a possibility. So, if you for future reference, uh, if you got a right angle drill, recommend it. Now, I guess we can see how tight that hole. Oops, how tight that hole is going to be. 
It's only having one hand thing blows. Now I'm stuck. Um, I don't understand. This is correct, right? Yeah. I'm hitting just like all of the wiring. Well, I'm doing all this by feel. We're gonna take a little break here so nobody can cuss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I miss cussing. Okay, so we're gonna do that thing where uh, I get frustrated and Kurt tries. Because I'm sure he's already over there sitting in agony, thinking, I could do that. I could do that. I'm actually enjoying this. Uh, all right, so Curtis got the pedal assembly bracket up in the truck, and then he immediately told me it's never coming out, and I told him that wasn't going to work because we got to figure out how to get the bolts and the nuts up in the back side of that bracket. So we got it back out. It took two people. Yes, it did. Wasn't fun? Nope. So that uh, bracket that's on the uh, firewall down there by your feet, kick panel, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's, it's a bracket and it's raised off the wall. It's got holes in it for bolts to go through, but there's no nuts on the backside to, you know, secure the bolts through. So we got to figure out how we're going to do that. You're never going to, I'm never going to reach this finger up through the top and hold nuts in place. And then how are you ever going to get them out? How are you going to put a wrench on them to get them tight? It ain't going to work. So I've come up with the brilliant idea to cut a piece of metal, drill the appropriate holes in it, weld nuts to the metal, and then fish it down through the bracket in between the, the gap of the firewall kick panel area. So we needed to find some metal to do that. I went through uh, the scrap pile. This is why, like I said earlier, you never throw anything away. You just, you know, organize it. By organize it, you know, I got a pile for metal. I got a pile for plastic and I got a pile for wiring. You never know when you need some wire. So what we have here is an old bed frame, as you can see. We took, we took a bracket here and traced out what we're gonna cut. Use a center line punch to get the uh, little indentation started. So we're gonna drill the holes first and then cut it. So the center line punch is not working out. Very cool. Don't do this. Here we have the bolts I decided to use. I found these in my bolt bucket and I found some nuts. And we just got lucky. And they fit through the holes. Okay. So we got that figured out, now we just need to cut this out. All right, so cue the death wheel. Mine has extra death. Uh, it doesn't have the guard on it. They tend to get in the way, so. Man. I'm just gonna stand way over here. Okay, we're gonna grind this up, smooth it up, and then have to try and figure out how to measure for the correct width, because I know it's not the right width. It's gonna be too wide to go in there. One, two, three. We think we may have finally got it. Maybe, I don't know. We tried to put it in there. Um, well, so the first one, where you seen me use the pedal assembly bracket as a template, don't do that. It doesn't work, the holes will not be centered. They need to be centered for the bracket in the truck. So scrap that one, started the second one. Kurt took a bunch of fancy Kurt style measurements. Yep. Kurt, Kurt does numbers, I don't do numbers. You got a drawing? Oh yeah, Kurt did a drawing here. Right there, see that? right there. Just drawing, very nice. Very nice. nice. Um, First one was too narrow. It was just gonna fall through and just sit there, which wasn't gonna cut it. So, cut a third one. We think the third one's good. Might need to uh, narrow it up a little bit on the width to get down in there. But uh, we tried to get it in there a couple times and then decided once it goes in, it's not coming out. So we're gonna weld the nuts on first and then start fighting that. This is our welding table. Kurt wants to give it a try. He did this thing where he said, hey, you want me to try the other side? Which means, hey, I wanna try the other side. So here goes Kurt.
Ooh, I got that really hot. Yeah, yeah, you did. That ain't gonna work though. Do the other one. Good enough. That is beyond good enough. Got the amperage set high. It's supposed to be a little baby tax. Yeah, the tux is not supposed to hit the metal, which I always do. Yeah, I feel you on that. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Every time. So we'll be back in 93 hours after that. It's cooled down. And go from there. I tell you, you want to weld too? Jesus, take a break. All right, there's the finished piece. It's not. I don't know how much that one's holding. That one looks pretty decent. That one looks all right-ish. We're not welders. It's whatever. It'll hold though. It ain't going nowhere. Is that right, Curtis? No, it ain't falling off. But that's the finished piece, so now we're gonna try and figure out how to get it back up in there, see if it fits. We may have to shave it down a little bit and just pray to Jeebus that it works. Okay. I'm gonna go back into this. Working under dashes, you guys know. Terrible. Terrible times. No, not fun at all. Curtis loves it though. You wanna, you wanna do it? I think we both know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got the bracket with the nuts in. Uh, unfortunately, we got it too far in. It's all the way down in there. Bolt holes aren't lined up. Kurt tried to get it out. I just got done trying to get it out. Kurt's trying again. I would say typically in this scenario, about the third time. Usually Kurt will probably get it this time. He tries for a little while. It's frustrated. I step in. I get frustrated. And then usually Kurt can figure it out. But uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. This, this kind of work here. We're currently trying to feed a wire up in there through the one bolt hole that we can see and then push it out through the top and maybe pull the whole thing up. It needs to come up an inch and in an inch. I think it's still a little too wide, but I just got done telling Kurt, man, once we get this part figured out, it should roll right along, but we've been working on this for quite some time now. Curtis, tell me how much fun you're having. Fun. All right, Curtis got it out. I told you, third try is the charm. Third charm's the try. Third, we got it the third time. Third time. <laughs> All right, so what? Third strike, we're out. <laughs> What's the plan now, Curtis? Um, now we are going to take a piece of string. Well, I Just, I want to do string, but uh, you'll see what we have. Um, put it through the top hole, feed it down through the back, put the bottom bolt in then cut said string and pull it out and put the top bolt in. Now, when we put the bottom bolt in, the clutch pedal assembly is in, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so the only issue is we don't have string because this isn't a sewing shop. <laughs> so what I fashioned up here is electrical tape, string, rope, stuff. Oh, we can't weld, but we can build string. You just gotta work with what you have. Well, I left one end sticky, so maybe that'll help, maybe that'll help us. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. I know you guys can't see what he's doing. I'm just gonna show you kind of how difficult this is, because he can't really see what he's doing either. No, this not the, at all. The main issue here. Okay, there. That's in there. Really? Yeah. It went in. Yeah, we should put it. We can get bolts in there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, that went way too smooth. Something is bound to just literally explode because that, we've been working on this for what, hour, hour and a half? Yeah. At least. All right, now let's put the pedal in. Okay, so we're calling that accomplished, I guess. We got the nut situation figured out. Uh, Kurt was talking earlier off camera. He decided we need to put the pedal back on the pedal assembly and uh, as you remember, that was my idea to begin with. So we're gonna go ahead and go with it. I'm not gonna fight him on it. Oh, you know what? We need to trim the brake pedal. I should probably trim the brake pedal first. Oh. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that. It won't take long. So I got just a brake pedal pad for 
Uh, I think I actually got this. This is for like this truck uh, with a manual because the automatic pedal, as you guys probably know, is different. And you see, I already put a line on there. You just line this up. I'm gonna zip that off and then we'll be able to slide this other one on, but we need it. We need it out of our way to get uh, a pedal assembly up in there, so. There it is. All right, that's all done. Curtis got that put in. I had to go potty, so Curtis did it. Uh, I don't like how shiny it is, but uh, I don't know. Guess there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, what now? Uh, now we're gonna put the clutch pedal in. All right, I apologize. We're not gonna be able to show you guys much of this because uh, of where it's located. Um, trust us, it's not gonna be fun. Here we go. Hold on, let me get a longer pry bar. There, made it. It's through. What's up? Those holes were lined up last time I had it in there. Oh, now they're not lined up? No. That makes perfect sense. Now comes the fun part. Can you manipulate with the part with the tape rope? No, oh, we need to move that hole. What hole? The hole we drilled to the firewall. Why? Because they're not lining up now. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's no bueno. I get to move it to where I think it's going to the right spot. I, the brake pedal arm is in my way to see. Did you get it to move over? Kind of, but I can't get a good eyeball on it to see like that. Both huh? Both line up. <laughs> oh, what in the world? I don't know. I feel like I can force it, but should I? You know what I mean? Yeah. Plus, that piece that we made, I can see it's it's way away. Like, even if I did, I don't know if it'll go. Um, I don't know. I think there's more than one issue here because just moving this pedal, I don't know, it's hitting something. Like, well, you gotta remember that pedal's gonna be way out there. Right, but it's... It's hitting cables. Yeah, it's, it's hitting the electrical in its way. More than one issue here. Oh yeah, I, I broke a uh, relay down there too. You broke a relay? Oh yeah. Well, it broke. I don't know when it broke. Did it break off in there? No, it like bent over. Yeah, I see that, but did the tabs break off? No, I don't think so. How could you know? You haven't pulled it out to find out. I, I see them. You don't, those aren't the ones, Curtis. It's the ones that are in there bent at a 45. That are the well, concern. they're still attached because it hasn't fallen out yet. Over this day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so this hole isn't round anymore. You guys see that? So the bolt holes didn't line up very well on the bottom anymore. I don't, I don't understand it, but uh, we did the only thing we know how to do die grinder we walled her out it fits now kurt's working on putting the bolts in then we're going to put the clutch master on and then we'll call it can you reach this uh maybe sit in the seat here yeah yeah what do we do with it turn it can you both of us it? both of us are turning no this no oh something happened 
you think we're making it more difficult than it is? Oh, probably. This is now trying to manipulate that bracket that we put in place so that I can start this bolt. All right, start turning. Oh, it's changing. Oh, I can't tell what's. Oh, it's getting tight on. Oh, no, there, it just broke free. Break. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it should be lined up right now. Is it close enough? I don't know. Hold up. Right there. Go? Yep, go. I think it fell off. There it go. I don't know. Kurt claims he has an idea. Tell us, Curtis. What's your idea? You're not gonna like this idea, but it's an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna strap my legs to the hoist. And hoist me up in the air so you can swing my upper body into the truck so I can use both of my hands. Why would I not like that, that idea? I love everything about that idea. Because I don't like that idea. <laughs> no, let's do that idea. I got a box of ratchet straps. I got no other idea. I can't do I, this one-handed. I have hands. Can you get it up in there when I'm in there? I mean, it depends on where exactly you need it. There's only so much room. See, that's the problem. Like they, we both, were... they both need to be up in. Why do you need three hands up in there? I need two. I just need two. You not sound happy. I don't know. I hope it's not cross threaded. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> ramrod it in or? Uh, well, nope. Uh, let's see if we get the top in. Let's see if we get the top bolt in. Like, take this out? Take it out. Right there. Try it. Don't got a whole lot of pressure. Thread is better than not threaded. It is. Cross thread is better than no threads. You're right. Let's see if I can show you guys what we're dealing with here. Oh, here's your clutch. Here's your clutch pedal here. That's these two bolts up here. Uh, right there, those two guys. Got the bottom one in, no problem. That top one was fighting us. It looks pretty straight now. This is what you're gonna deal with. Trying to put this in. You know when the best time to do this would have been? When, Curtis? When we had the dash out. I mean, it really would have been. Ugh, I still need that. Don't yeah, you we, think so? I mean, sure, it would have been nice to do before the cage was in, or before the seats were in, or the shifter. Or we never took the steering column out, but yeah. But that's not yeah. the way the cookie crumbled, Curtis. Well, if you would have just made up your dishes and decision, you got that. Yeah, yeah that I, word, I got that got word. That word figured out. Yeah, so we just go past that. <laughs> <laughs> There's money involved, all right? Yes, I, I completely agree. I should have went with my gut feeling and done this swap from the get-go. I'd have a lot more money right now if I did. But 
This is not the way it works. Do you want me to go on the other side and do what we were doing before? I don't think I got it. Should put Loctite on them. Don't want these suckers ever coming out. Get it? You God. snapped it. No, you didn't. No, I'm joking. Jeez. Oh my God. That was not, that was not funny. That was great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, there you go. You got both of them tight? Yep, both of them tight. Okay, hooray, we got that done. So it took us two days and like eight hours. Uh, it doesn't have to. Uh, you guys probably know a better way to do this. Let us know if you know in the comments there. Uh, Cause I'm sure eventually this pedal will fail and we'll have to take it out and figure out something else to do. So uh, yeah, let us know. Okay, so full disclosure, there is a third bolt hole on the top of this bracket here. So here's the plastic one. You got two holes there, which is what we've just been fighting. And then there's a third one up there. <sighs> we can't see it. I'm pretty sure there's no provision up there currently for a bolt to go through. So uh, we're just not gonna put it in. I don't suggest that. Uh, if you're doing this, you should probably do it the right way. Uh, we're gonna do it the way that gets it done, for now at least. It, uh, it'll always be in the back of my mind, but I don't know, maybe after a year I'll forget about it. And then it'll fail, and then I'll remember, and we'll know why it failed. So now we're gonna put, Curtis already has the Clutch Master in. I'm going to, you guys see this gap here? because we didn't have this hole perfect because we never do anything perfect. I'm gonna fill that in with seam sealer. I just have to get some seam sealer. So we'll put this clutch master in just to kind of show you guys. And I'll have to pull it back out eventually. It just kind of snaps and twists, Curtis. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out which way it went. Yeah. I gotta go in this and way. That routing is gonna be important too. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be a real issue. I think it's gonna snake down through here. I think so. Now it's gonna snake up, honestly, behind this. What in the world? I just wanna to to grab that and bring it over that way. Over the inside of the frame rail? Yes. Where's that? Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. Shoot. I'm gonna have to go line that pedal up for you. Uh-huh, I think so. Okay, now we gotta rotate it. This thing's made out of plastic, which really makes me nervous. So I'm not snapping it up here. I'm just, I just got it set in the correct spot, but I need to push the pedal in to snap that in. No, no, I got it all the way in. It's just, I need to rotate it into place. It's all the way in. I'm just nervous about breaking it because it is plastic. Wow. That's in. It's secure. It Ooh. needs to rotate more. You want this going up and down I straight? Yeah. That, but it don't. Oh. oh. That is really tight. I wonder if there's a wrench or something to use to put that in. I don't think so. I don't think so. Why is it? Is it supposed to be that tight? Probably. <sighs> You moved it some more. I know, but it doesn't want to go anymore. Um, was that okay? I don't know. I'm gonna snap. Should I snap the pedal in? Yeah, we can try it. I wouldn't push too hard because you're not gonna get any reaction on the other side. But then that is, that's a quick connect, isn't it? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can try it. This is push out? Nope. Okay, then we're in. I think we're gonna call that. It doesn't want to move anymore. Yeah, I don't I'd nervous I'd be nervous about it. So it's not a hundred percent level. You guys see that? But uh, it doesn't want to twist on anymore. Yeah, I'm afraid to break it. All right, well, I think we're gonna call that done. The, the, the rod for the Clutch Master, I just snapped it back in to the back of the clutch pedal here. So, there it is. We got all three pedals. It was not exactly fun. We try and have fun out here. When it stops being fun, we usually call it quits for the day. Because if it's not fun, why are we doing it? Lord knows we ain't making any money at it. Wish I could tell you guys it was easy. It wasn't for us. Maybe for you it would be. But we got it done, I think. I mean, we can't really test it. It's going to be a while, but we'll be testing everything. So things will fail. It's the way she goes. Mm -hmm. Satisfied, Curtis? Yeah, for now. Okay. Um, uh, next video on the red truck will be removing the 4L60, installing the T56, but just for mock-up purposes to um, get a drive shaft measurement, pray that the current cross member works, and get a measurement for the shifter I want to buy. So, see you guys next time. See ya.